The SSS clutch is a bespoke design free wheel gear type clutch which engages and disengages automatically without the use of any external control system. This clutch operation model shows the basic engagement and disengagement functions of the SSS clutch. Automatic engagement and disengagement is activated only by speed control of the machines to which it is connected. Put simply, when the input side, shown here in red, rotates faster than the output side, shown here in green, then the SSS clutch will engage. Conversely, when the green output side rotates faster than the red input side, then the clutch will disengage and overrun or free wheel. Engagement of the clutch is initiated by a sprung loaded pull and ratchet mechanism. When the red clutch input side begins to rotate faster than the green clutch output side, the silver coloured pulls come into contact with the blue ratchet teeth. These blue ratchet teeth are mounted onto a helical sliding component which is shown here in blue. This blue helical sliding component is mounted onto a helical spline on the red clutch input assembly. Therefore, when the pulls contact the ratchet teeth, they will push the blue helical sliding component axially along the red input component towards the engage position. This motion is similar to how a nut slides along a bolt. When the pulls first come into contact with the ratchet teeth on the blue helical sliding component, the pulls align an internal external gear tooth arrangement ready for meshing. As the blue helical sliding component travels along the red input shaft, the pulls eventually drop off the ratchet teeth. The gear teeth come into mesh and this gear tooth mesh completes the engaging sequence. An important point to note here is that all of the load or torque transmitted through the SSS clutch is absorbed within this main gear tooth mesh and not through the pull and ratchet mechanism. Disengagement of the SSS clutch is simply the reverse of engagement. When the green output side begins to rotate faster than the red input side, then the torque action within the gear teeth reverses, thus unscrewing the clutch back into the ratcheting position. This close-up view shows the finer details of the complete engaging and disengaging sequence.